let's do some cadence. So if you go to the research area, the tutorial we're going to reference is here. All right, and just um, we'll go through logging in one more time, but you will have had to do this before this tutorial. So you make sure to do your VPN. I don't need a VPN because I'm on campus and I'll just run my VNC viewer and um, I already had something set up at 5906 continue again the passwords are in in the canvas shell so to start a terminal you just uh, right click and then left click on console ls list the source there's nothing here yet so I'm gonna make a directory mkdr s45 and then I'm just gonna say me right this would be in this tutorial it just says ST45, but there's more than one of you in the account, so you have to kind of just change the directory. Okay, that's good. Now, um, you have to change directory into that, CD S45Me, all right, and there's nothing in there. Then you have to copy, that tilde means a user and Professor Morris Jones has his setup files and it's set up 45 so that's the directory backslash star means everything there star means wildcard dot means keep everything the same name and then ls and you can see everything here there's some extra than what's mentioned in the tutorial but really dot for current directory backslash s45 and press enter cadence will pop up eventually all right now yeah your screen um you know i don't know how big it is but you might have to move things around just to see what's going on and tools library manager all right will come up this is the actual where all the information is and then this this information isn't private but um, when you do the AMI or the TSMC this is what this kind of information is what would be the private information all right so if I had wanted to add an NMOS something um, long VT of three uh, there's a BJT of two and there's all these different views which the tutorial will get through most of them but you'll just copy things out of here you'll copy things out of here um, maybe not so much basic it depends and you'll just create your own your own library that you'll do your work in all right um, it looks like a little bit of error there. I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to let that go for now. But um, and now, just as a reminder, if I just kill it right where I left it, I can connect back. and it's right there. Now I'm just gonna actually exit everything because this is really your account. CD dot dot means go up, change directory one up, and remove minus little rf, remove recursively and force it. Don't use that much because you can really do a lot of damage. In Linux when you remove a file or delete it, it's gone. They overwrite it with zeros. Windows, they just say, hey, you can overwrite this area of the disk if you feel like it, right? Um, when you remove something in Linux, 
It is gone. Ellis, it is gone. Um, now, yeah, um, you can't really email these cadence files back and forth if you're having trouble. But if you are having trouble, you can email me um, the ID, like 6, and I can see what's going on. And in fact, if I'm viewing it, I can kind of take over. So you want to make sure you're, you're in your own number here because you can actually start taking over things and have great practical jokes with it. Um, but then all you have to do, and it's, it's an extensive tutorial, but it, I should have made everything um, so that it's bug free. But what, how many pages are there? I can't tell. Many, many. So um, there's another task.